We're not perfect, but we are responsible adults who didn't attack the Capitol on January 6th, didn't try to whitewash it. Don't pretend we're for, we're for law enforcement and then ignore 140 cops getting beat up on that horrible day. No, we're not perfect, Chuck. We've got all kinds of things we can do better. But we are responsible adults who believe in this democracy and who are fighting for a better future. Can't argue with anything there is another strong, direct closing argument from a top Democrat facing re-election tomorrow. That was Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney. Joining us now is a man tasked with leading his party in all matters, messaging and campaign strategy all across the country in these midterm elections. The chair of the Democratic National Committee, Jamie Harrison. I'm going to ask you what I would ask you what I asked people when I was making my calls earlier. How are you feeling? What are you watching tomorrow night? What are going to be your early indicators of what kind of night? Uh, um, you're having? Well, listen, I, I am so energetic right now. I'm a little tired. We just <laughs> finished uh, 13 states in 14 days. Uh, just got back from Wisconsin, and uh, I'll be back in D.C. tomorrow. But, Nicole, I can tell you, our candidates are amazing. Our candidates are better than theirs. Our, our volunteers are Even just Mitch McConnell not thinks so. Exactly right. <laughs> our volunteers are just blowing it off the roof in terms of door knocks and all. You know, one of the things, the lessons that I learned from 2020, and you know I ran for the United States Senate, is that we had we flooded the airwaves, but we did not have the ground game for close elections. Mm. And so that's why the DNC has put $90 million on the ground to build some presidential-level turnout operations in many of these battleground states. And in comparison, Nicole, we spent $30 million in 2018, but $90 million this cycle, and we started two years ago instead of starting just two weeks or two months ago. And so I'm feeling really, really comfortable. Uh, I'm confident because I believe that these are going to be close elections. And in close elections, it's not TV ads that win. Yeah. It's being able to pull those people out of the houses and take them to the polls that, that, ends, uh, that wins these close, close elections. And I think we have the operation to do just that. Jamie, I'm curious on the ground game. I, I certainly understand that... We have learned that TV alone does not do it, just like you said, and frankly, social media and digital advertising do, doesn't do it. Identifying our voters with the hard door knock and then the pulling them out. How much of that 90 million has been spent on trying to get early votes in versus who's going to show up tomorrow? Because we have now got this weird thing going on where it seems like who shows up on Election Day are Republicans and we don't win until the mail is counted. And that allows this false narrative to take hold that somehow something is going on that's not legit. Talk about how much we're going to be pulling people out to actually physically vote tomorrow. There is going to be a lot of push and pull, uh, Senator. And part of what we built, and this is the reason why we needed to start earlier, is so that our organizers are on the ground building relationships, coming up and building great volunteer teams that are in these communities and have been embedded in these communities for well over a year or so. And so they know the people, they've been talking to them for over a year about voting and the important issues, uh, getting some of them registered. For the first time in 20 years, the DNC had a voter registration program. And we've been following those uh, folks who read, were newly registered this summer and, and we are following them so that they have a plan to get to the polls. And we are we are emboldened by the early vote numbers right now because that what that does is we don't have to worry about those voters now. We just need to chase the really hard right. to get voters. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are and that's what we're focused on right now. It is calling those people, texting those people, knocking on their doors. We have rides to the poll already. Folks can go to IWillVote.com. If you have any issues or you need a ride, just go to IWillVote.com. But we have teams ready and willing uh, and are on the ground right now making it happen. Mr. Chairman, David Jolly here. I'm going to go a little parochial with you. What are the Democrats' plans for seeding viability in the state of Florida in 2024? Well, listen, Florida is really, really important. And, and I think culturally, Florida is important uh, to the nation. We have a large uh, Latino community there that is extremely diverse, uh, huge Puerto Rican populations uh, and other, uh, other uh, Latinos all across the state. And so we have to do more in terms of continuing to invest in that state. You have large African-American populations that we have to continue to cultivate. And so it is a really, really important state to me, uh, and I know to the president. The president went to do one of his rallies 
down in South Florida. And that indicates, you know, what he believes that how important Florida is. So we're going to continue to push. We have a great party chair down there in terms of Manny, uh, who's mm -hmm. been working hard to really rebuild some of the connections in Florida. So Florida, I want you to know we're not giving you up. We're going to continue to fight for each and every vote in that state.